Easy hello adventurers and welcome to the club. Today we are turning this ordinary lighter into a survival lighter. Just, let's just start out. I have a piece of a razor blade. It's not a razor blade, it's an exacto knife blade, doesn't matter. And a piece of metal. I'm just putting it on here and bending the metal around it tightly I have shown this in detail in a different video that's fine just is a bit now I'm going to heat this up a bit because there is a, I should have shown this was a tea light candle housing very light made weight aluminium just heating it up for a second because there is a bit of wax inside and that's now covering the blade, making it a bit more rust proof. Perfect, but still fine. And now we go to the slider. Let's get the surface a bit cleaned up here. I don't want it to be too dirty. No, we want it clean. And now we're putting this on here, just like this. And better like this because that's easier to glue on. Now I'm like taking a bit of duct tape and wrapping a few layers around it. I'm doing this off camera to keep the video short. Okay, okay, change of plan. That's not a TV cooking show. We aren't doing anything off camera here. I'm placing the lighter on the tape, just like this, and the blade about here. Now I'm rolling it over, trying to keep it in the center, and as you see, it's now on there. Give it a few turns of tape, not too much. I want to keep this rather low profile. Cutting it helps. You could rip it, but I want it nice and neatly here. Because that's something we are carrying around for a while. You could also wrap some fishing line around it before you do the tape and a fishing hook. The fishing hook you have to bend the eyelet in the in a direction where it doesn't stick out too much. But here in my area uh, fishing is not really a thing. So I'm skipping on this part. But the fishing line is not a bad idea. Having something like this can always come in handy. Make sure to wrap it tightly and neatly. And there we go. What you can do is you can fold the last piece of it over on itself, like this. So it's, it's easier for you to get loose again if you need it. It isn't that pretty now, I have gotten it a bit crooked and so on. It didn't add too much to the profile. So it will still fit in my pocket. But now we have a lighter, that of course works, in combination with a little knife blade. 
you can still see in it check if there is enough fuel in it and yeah Yep, I shouldn't have changed the plan. I did, a go, I did go around it once more off camera and now it's way neatlier. The profile is this time far better. I don't want it to be too thick. But now what we have is we have a blade that we can actually touch to the help of the aluminium. We have a bit of duct tape and we have a lighter. That's like a, yeah, not really a survival kit, but let's call it a survival kit lighter. <laughs> yeah. And in case you need it, you just unravel the tape and use the blade or just use the tape and store the blade somewhere else. And yeah, you can still make a fire with it. That's how it works. And so, just to show you that I'm really using this thing, that's my own lighter. It's practically the same, with a few exceptions. This one got a bottle opener, just in case. <laughs> but you can of course open a bottle with this, but it's a prying tool, so it's useful for different things. But that was a free one, a gift, and it isn't... <coughs> It isn't refillable, unfortunately. Yeah. As you see, I also have wrap wrapped around some tape. I have folded one of the flaps over. And yeah, it's quite rusty. Disadvantage here is it's one of the classic strike me ones. And you see, when I strike it, it's still getting some life in it. And I haven't adjusted it yet up, but we do this here. You see it still works when it's warm outside and it's cold uh, the gas compresses and it doesn't work quite right right <laughs> but yeah just to show you that I'm using it myself I recommend you not to use one of those flint and striker ones because they are very very sensitive against moisture you can try it by blowing in it and shaking it but the piezo electric ones are, in my opinion, far more reliable. Yeah. That's a neat design, right? With a bottle opener. <laughs> and yeah. Do I have something left to say? Yeah, sure, of course. Join the club. It's free. That means you can subscribe if you like. And yeah, this one has seen some adventures. Tape has been used a bit, but still off. Still some left on it. Okay, that's it. See you next time here at the Adventures Club. Go out there, have fun, and enjoy your life.